Merrill dogs is a really great question. Let me tell you something about American Pitbull Terriers. American Pitbull Terriers is only one and it's real. And yes, the dog has changed from the very beginning till now through a process of development and making the breed better. The men that actually work with the breed is the most important part of the breed always. Most companies you have 20% of the people that do, that do the work and 80% of the people enjoy the benefits of those 20% of people that work. In the American Pitbull Terrier is less than 1%. The men that actually create a positive impact on an entire breed of millions of dogs around the world. Less than 1%, okay? Those are the key men and those are the only ones that really are called dogmen. Those dogmen in the 1800s never had Merrill dogs. There was never a bloodline created or any great legends that came with Merrill dogs, Merrill color, Merrill anything. By the way, they were not blue dogs. Not on a way that they calibrated and they say, look, this is a bloodline that we're going to continue and we're going to preserve. There was nothing like that. There were red dogs there that they came from Ireland. The American Pitbull Terrier has been going through a different process. They were white colors, they became tigers, pintos, uh, black collar dogs, white dogs again, and you know, um, all different types of colors, then the yellow, the reds. And through all this process, whenever you breed two dogs of a color, you get a red nosed dog, a red, red nosed dog, you get a male and a female. Old timers used to say those were the favorite dogs. And those red dogs, they prove to be the better dogs. And whenever you had two of those red dogs, red noses, and you breed them, the only thing you're gonna get by genetics is gonna be red noses. And that's that point of consistency for a breed. When you see the American Pitbull Terriers, it's different than when you see a real breed like German Shepherds or um, Rock Wilders, where everything is uh, one color. You see the parents, you expect the puppies to be the same color. With Pitbulls, you have pink colors, you have blue colors, you have black, red, yellow, white, blah, blah, blah. So what it really is in American Pitbull Terrier? The right answer is they're red, and they're red, red color, red, red noses. That is the apex of the breed and mirror colors don't fit in there. They were not mirror colors in the 1900s, not in the middle of the 1900s, 1950s. There has never been mirror colors. As a matter of fact, there's never been real top of the line blue colors that were blue noses or jam pitbulls or micro pitbulls. The truth is we live in an era where people celebrate mutation, deformation. And I don't know if it has anything to do with mutant Ninja Turtles where the mutants actually have uh, special powers, but when it comes to dogs, mutants are not great. We had a video that I might tag along with this, you can see at the end of the video, with a puppy that has five legs. That's a complete deformation. And you look at the video, they're loving it. It's like, oh, it's cute. Oh my God, people are gonna be looking for a dog with five legs. There's a great factor about the American Pitbull Terrier. It is the greatest dog that America ever had. It is the dog that gave the Americans the concept of underdog and top dog. Winners love that. The founders, the builders, the entrepreneurs of the United States were raised with those 90 dogs. They gave them strength, gave them courage, and made them be tougher than anything else. That's why that dog that was a pit dog, one day in the 1800s, they decided we need a dog of our own. We are a brand new nation and we need to have a dog of our own. And they say the dogs that belong to our great grandparents, that we call them pit dogs, that were battle dogs, and we're also nanny dogs, we're gonna call them our own dogs. So we're gonna start by calling them American over everything. And they call them American Pebble Terriers. So they get confused by Merrill dogs, by blue dogs, by giant dogs or micro dogs. Those are deformations, 1000%. Take it from me. If you need more questions, you can call me. My name is Chico Lopez, and my number is here on this page. God bless you. Bye bye.